Hi everybody, happy Friday. I know it's exciting. Um, you're here for Maker Mornings with Meg. I'm Meg from Love and Stamps. And today we are doing a cute Friday card. And today's card is about having your cake and eating it too. So um, if you've watched my videos before, you might know that I really, really love the designer series card, card base style. So hey Kay, hey Kathy. Um, DSP card base, which I like to call them. If you, if you don't know the lingo, DSP stands for designer series paper. So um, anyway, uh, if you don't know the lingo, that should help you get started. But DSP card bases are a great way to use a paper that you absolutely love on both sides, like um, the snail papers from the Snailed It DSP. Um, they are super sweet, and it's always sad when you have to glue one down and say goodbye to the gluey side um, and only get one. So uh, it's happy Friday. Uh -huh. Hey, Tanya and Trish and Sharon and Cindy and everybody. Um, so we're going to solve that problem today and do a DSP card base. Uh, I've shown you some of these in the past. Most recently, where did I put them? Oh, I guess I put them away. Um, most recently, some with the Flower and Field Designer Series paper, um, but today we're going to use Snailed It and go ahead and do that. And I have um, some extra tips for you, and we're going to do a little bit different on the cutting and scoring on this one than I've done on most of my DSP card bases in the past. So if you guys are ready, let's just flip down here, and we will get started with, um, with our card. So, all right, pull up my chair and get you guys set over here. So we don't have double sound. Okay, so um, DSP right here. Um, I'm gonna actually go through the cutting with you just so you kind of uh, have a chance to see it. Sometimes I find that once I've seen something, I um, have a little bit better um, ability to recreate it. So if you haven't seen um, these papers, they are darling. And this reminds me, okay, you know my trick for um, using little packages, um, the little embellishment packages like this? I don't like that gluey strip at the back um, that comes off, so I always slit them on the side so that it's really easy to just pull my things out and put them back in and protect them. Some of the new DSP is packaged in the same way with a gluey um, plastic tab at one end. So hello, same thing. Um, I've started slitting it on the side so that I can easily get what I want and close it and I don't have to worry about that gluey tab being in the way. So let me show you just a couple of these patterns here. Um, these snails have a die that matches them. Um, so same with these small ones. We're gonna do some of that and here are some of the other pretty papers and the backs, um, this one with the word bubbles, darling, um, are fun patterns that are really flexible and you can use um, a heart one for lots of different um, sort of contrast uh, cards. So, all right, so the one we're gonna use is this guy here and I'm going to pull in my trimmer and I'm gonna cut a four inch piece and we're gonna do a vertical card today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Um, four inch piece off, which means I could make two more of the same card and six all together um, with, the, with the thing. So, oh, I'm missing comments. Good morning, Lana and Betty and Sue, and thank you guys for sharing. Um, okay, so usually what I do is I score this at five and a half and at 11, and then we um, fold on those score lines and have our card base. But for this one, what I wanted to do is um, go ahead and have a, our mat work with our regular card. So we're gonna mount this on the back, which means I need this part here to be five and a quarter inches tall. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and score it at five and a quarter inches, okay? So remember, get your cutting blade off the table, out of the way. And then I'm gonna score it again, another five and a quarter inch. So you can either swing your arm out or you can set this here. <laughs> at five and a quarter. Okay, I better swing my arm out because there's kind of a, a scarcity of measuring there. I lost my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna make this now. So I've scored at five and a quarter. I'm gonna score at 10 and a half. Okay, simplifies. And then I have this whole um, piece left here that's an inch and a half long. I'm actually gonna cut it at 11 and a half inches. So I'm gonna take this last little bit of paper here and save this for the inside of our card as a little accent, okay? All right, so now we're good with our trimmer. I have my card base, which is uh, 
four, five and a half by four and a quarter, sort of our normal card size. And let's get you guys just a little closer there. And so now what I'm gonna do is put um, these pieces together for our base. So I'm gonna fold on the score line. I'm going to fold on this score line and ta-da! Those are set so that they fit perfectly on our card base, okay? Morning, Teresa. Um, all right, so now what I wanna do is use, I'm gonna use my Seal Plus because I want our DSP um, to be super well supported by our card base. One of the things with DSP card base cards is that they're just a little bit um, softer than the regular weight of cardstock cards. So I like to support them um, with cardstock either on the outside or sometimes on the inside or sometimes both. So now I have a piece of Blushing Bride which is gonna match our colors. And these are the colors from the Snail Mail um, collection. So I've just borrowed those. This is gonna layer inside to give us a place to write. And I've started not always putting white inside. It's kind of fun to have a fun color. And then we're gonna add our strips. So I'm gonna pop some adhesive on the back here. Remember to keep rolling your wrist so that the adhesive is prepped for the next time you use it. And then I'm gonna slide this on here and just use my scissors um, to trim the end. And usually I trim from the back side when I trim things to match so that I can see what I'm doing. And then this is going to, remember, roll your wrist, pop on the inside like so, okay? So now we have both sides of our paper showing. We have our fun front, we have the contrast, um, pretty designer inside to match, and we're gonna go ahead and work on decorating our front. So snail mail here um, has some great pieces in it. Um, a lot of times I'll just open up my stamp case and look and see, oh, what do I have left from past cards that I um, had those little odds and ends. So these, I'll show you some of these past cards. So this one um, was one that we did, I think we did this one on a Maker Mornings with Meg um, and kind of stamped and cut out. This was based, this stamp is actually from um, last month's Paper Pumpkin. Um, I love when the Paper Pumpkin coordinate with things in the catalog so you can just sort of extend your supplies. And this one um, we also did on Maker Mornings with Meg. This is when I added the little envelope here um, and had the little envelope die with our snail coming out of it. So lots of fun possibilities for this. And then here's one more um, just real simple uh, card here with the snail bit. So lots of good ideas there, um, but nothing that I wanted to use exactly for our project this morning. But I decided that I wanted to um, go ahead and use the little hello greeting and the little word bubble greeting, or Lord, I guess it's not a greeting, the little word bubble, okay? And then, um, let's see, I thought about using a snail, but I'm actually gonna use a snail from our designer series paper. So let me pop all these extra pieces back in there so they're safe for next time. Okay, and so let's go ahead and grab our snail first. So here is another piece of this DSP from this package. And um, their die here matches our little snail perfectly. So um, let's see, Betty asked me a question. She said, is the base of the card real red or poppy parade? It is real red. Um, a lot of times I find them a little bit interchangeable just because the, um, the poppy is a little bit uh, brighter than the real red. So I do sometimes use one versus the other, but this time I just took the colors straight out of the, um, the back of the paper, so you can always look on there. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and use my mini cut and emboss machine. And think about um, when you cut up this designer series paper, certainly like these little presents you could cut out and use um, lots of good possibilities. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop our snail in here. And remember, um, you wanna move your dies around so you're not always cutting on the same place on the plates, otherwise they get warpy. Um, you can save them from getting warpy by always moving your cutting around. Okay, and I'm gonna pop these in like this, and you'll notice that I staggered them too. They're not all lined up at the end. That really helps them to um, want to feed really easily. So, all right, so I'm popping this through and I'm gonna take my um, little snail and remove that washi tape. I'll set that washi tape back on top here for next time. Um, I reuse that all the time and pull up my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. If it, looked like, um, if it looked like it was hard for me to pull up, it's because I have a little tack added to the feet at the bottom. And 
Um, I am super happy with the way that's working out. So I think I've talked about that one before. But okay, so now we have our snail and he is going to go here on the front of our card. Um, but let's talk about this for a second. He is a little bit hard to see. He's cute, but he gets a little bit lost. So we wanna give him a home, right? We wanna give him a visual presence that's gonna be strong. And let's actually go ahead and seal this shut. Um, so I'm gonna take this last bit here and close the front of our card. Now, part of the reason that I put this um, last strip at the bottom of a DSP card base card is now this um, paper is double strength here and use a good adhesive here, um, Snail Plus or Tear Tape, just so that's really nice and strong, okay? All right, so there's our snail. He's a little lost, he's a little bit hard to spot. Um, which I guess is very snaily, right? But let's go ahead and take our die here and give him a home. And I guess I shouldn't have put my, um, I shouldn't have put my stamp and cut and emboss machine away. Um, so we're gonna pull this through and drop in my die. Um, and this postage die is one that comes from the um, same um, snail set. So he's included with a snail mail die, which oops, which is perfect because uh, postage stamp, right? It's pretty handy. And I have now this cute little um, postage stamp to go with our piece. So hi, Carol. All right. So popping this back over here. It is kind of convenient to have a little stamp and cut and emboss. So um, nice to Nice to have that handy. All right, so when I put this on here now, you can see our snail is so much easier to spot. He's like, ding, he's got a big like visual presence. So now, um, why don't we go ahead and do our greeting for this. Um, I'm gonna grab a piece of Whisper White, I mean Basic White, <laughs> and my Memento Black ink pad, and we are going to um, go ahead and stamp a little greeting. So uh, now the nice thing about um, this bubble is that it, he, it can face both directions. So let's go ahead and stamp hello first. And yeah, we'll see. And then I'm gonna stamp the bubble. Now, if my, if my bubble, if my snail's pointing this way, I want my bubble to go this way. If I have one of the snails that faces the other way, then I would want my word bubble to go this way. So I love that they've drawn this um, so that it's pretty, uh, pretty flexible. So I know I'm stamping upside down for you guys, but there you go. So now we're gonna take this um, and cut it out with the die. And so we'll bring our stamp and cut and emboss back in one more time. Um, so you can see why it's super convenient to have this little guy. All right, so I'm gonna pop this on here. And since this one has a little match to it, I'm going to add my washi tape to it. Um, now, at the end of our video, I'm gonna show you an, a sneak peek of my card from Monday, which is one of my new um, monthly tutorials, Love and Stamps uh, monthly tutorials that are available um, as my customer. Thank you for um, ordering with a PDF. Uh, and we're going to um, use the new Butterfly Brilliance I'm gonna show you. Uh, so just a heads up on that bill. Oh, good thing the plates are sturdy. <laughs> um, just a heads up on that, for the Butterfly Brilliance that I'm gonna show um, featuring in March a bunch, um, you're gonna want the big stamp and cut and emboss machine because the, the dies don't go through the little one, so, or at least the big dies. Okay, so now we have our greeting here. Now, I like this layout, I like the way it looks, but I feel like our snail needs a little bit stronger presence. And so I'm gonna bring in my um, two inch circle punch um, because it fits so nicely here with our background. And I'm gonna echo this red. So we have this red cardstock here, this real red cardstock here, and then this little tiny touch of real red that's in our designer series paper. So when we add this circle, watch how these little hearts are going to jump out, okay? So now I've got this on here, and suddenly this little heart here and the little reds in the background are so much more visible. Um, so that's really one of the things I love about the Stampin' Up um, color system is that the matching colors make it really easy for um, you to accent different pieces by repeating those colors. So, okay, so here's our little snail. I'm gonna go ahead and pop him here onto our background. 
And, and then um, we're gonna start gluing things down. But before I do, I want to work in um, an embellishment. And one of the th embellishments that's part of this suite is the um, Snailed It t Baker's Twine. And uh, I think it's called Snailed It Combo Twine or something like that. But it comes in this blushing bride color and in white, which is fabulously flexible. And I'm going to um, wrap this around. So yesterday um, when I did my bonus card, was that yesterday? I can't remember. Um, this bonus card, um, I used this, this twine here on my floral. Um, so we're gonna use it again here. I can't even remember yesterday. It's Friday, I guess I don't have to. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna bring this around again. And I talked a little bit about using um, this ribbon in, or this twine in triple. Um, so wrapping it around three times, and you certainly could do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one here. Um, but the uh, nice thing about doing it in triple is that it just gives you a little bit stronger um, visual impact. So, all right, I always pull my ends tight, um, pull my bow, um, my bow loops a little bit taut so that they're in in size of our card or in frame with the size of our card. And I'm gonna pull this over and let's go ahead and pop our snail here so that the bow just goes a little bit on top. So that's also going to help that um, show up there. All right, so now I'm gonna pop some dimensionals on the back and I must put him on sideways. Slide this just a little underneath and we'll get this kind of squared up on the side here with our stripes, there we go. All right, so now we need to add our word bubble, which I think of course needs a Stampin' Dimensional. And I'm gonna pop it way off to the side so that it sits over here um, and it doesn't like interfere with like a halfway popped up piece by those layers. And because he's saying hello, we're gonna add a little bit of um, the resin uh, heart embellishment bit here. And so I'm gonna pop this off and pop a little red heart there below my hello, okay? Just a little accent. So we have our um, DSP card base created. We have some um, focal point created on the front and all of these pieces that we've added are gonna help support this card front. Um, and then we have a fun set of layers on the inside. Now, you guys ready to see the sneak peek for um, next week's card? <laughs> so this one, um, like I said, is snailed it. It's really cute. Uh, right at this particular moment, you can't order the collection for all of these pieces because something is on back order. Um, I think it's the twine actually. So anyway, you can order the pieces separately um, to get this, just that collection might be um, turned off. So. Uh, all right, Butterfly Brilliance. This bundle starts on Monday. Um, the butterflies are absolutely beautiful. They come in, I'm like sneak peeking it here. They come in um, the stamps, the dies, the paper, and a specialty paper. And you can buy one or all of those parts um, and they don't go on sale until Monday for the butterflies, okay? So if you have things that you want to get um, still during celebration to get your last celebration items, um, this weekend is your last chance. This catalog, this little catalog of freebie stuff ends on February 28th on Sunday, okay? So don't miss those. Then on March 1st, um, we will have the Butterfly Brilliance out. And this guy um, is the stamp. It comes um, as one giant stamp like this, and I absolutely adore it. So there are um, also dies to match it. Let's get our snail moved over. And the dies are um, really the one of the powerhouse parts of this package. So um, there are um, there's one large die that cuts out everything. Okay, so it's just a perfect match for this. Um, and then there are all of the detail dies that can be layered over to give you that um, shadow. And I've seen these done in black, I've seen them done in vellum, I've seen them done in color, so many possibilities. And then, as if that wasn't enough, um, there are also all these little accent dies um, to be included. And they, this one's my favorite, uh, the 
the dots are a close second, um, but they are a nice way to add a lot of texture to this. So it's a really multifaceted um, stamp set and die set. And then the papers to go with this um, are going to be exclusive just this spring. So the stamps and dies will go all the way through to the annual catalog next year, but the papers um, are going to be a temporary item. So um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't miss out on these. And here's my favorite one. This paper right here, there are um, a bunch of sheets of it in here. Uh, this paper right here, watch, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, matches the dies. So you end up being able to cut all those butterflies out at one time. Um, so I, there are so many things I love about this. I'm gonna talk about it um, starting on Monday. You'll get a chance to see that. But do you wanna see the card that matches um, our uh, snailed it card. So here's my here's my match it card. So here is my butterfly version. So this is gonna be um, the card I'm gonna show you on Monday. So I don't wanna talk about it too much, but you can see it's the very same layout. But here's the thing. This one uses 12 by 12 paper. So you can make a DSP card base where it folds and um, gives you both sides of the paper. This one has, you saw me show it, it's only six by six paper. So on Monday, I'm gonna teach you how to turn six by six paper into a faux DSP card base card. I'm not gonna show you now. Cause then what would I talk about on Monday? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, looking forward to this guy. But remember, um, if you wait to get this when it's available um, next week, then you'll be um, after celebration. So if you have a little celebration things that you need, um, to get some free gifts or stocking up on that beautiful ombre paper um, or the flower and field paper that I showed earlier this week. Um, this guy or um, the ombre here with those dragonfly cards. Um, those papers uh, are gonna be, we have to say goodbye on February 28th, so don't miss out on your chance to get them. Um, and if you're looking for things to add to your collection that will get you those things for free, of course, our Snailed It guy today is pretty darling. So, all right. It's Friday. I hope you guys have amazing plans for your weekend that of course include something creative and, and stamping and sending a card. Um, I have a bunch of comments. Oh yeah, you guys are pretty excited about the butterflies and um, things for Monday. So yeah. Oh, and of course um, we are wrapping up the Love and Stamps uh, Tutorials for February, my order, thank you, are those um, Hey Chick cards, Hey Birthday Chick cards that move. Um, so those tutorials you can still get if you haven't um, earned them yet by placing an order in my online store. You still can, um, they're available through the end of February, so. All right, guys, I uh, can't tell you how excited I am about these butterflies coming. I've been working on cards for next week and they're gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but I'm also looking forward to having a weekend and enjoying that. So, and then after a weekend, I'll see you guys back on Monday for some more cards and uh, project tutorials. Have a great weekend, enjoy your time, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy stamping, thanks for watching.